Country Pony. Hello, everybody. Hello, UK PonyCon. And welcome to the Artist Drawing Challenge um, hosted by me, Stormblaze. Whew, it's been a while since I've done a panel, I must admit. <laughs> and this is the first group one we've done. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to sit back and enjoy watching a little showcase of artists we've got today and see them draw some really bizarre challenges I've picked out. <laughs> so today we have got Greenfly, we've got Jowie Bean, we've got Shazlin, and we have got Reaper Fox. So if you guys want to say hi, let me just... Here we go, here they are. <laughs> Here's uh, their screens, I hope everybody can see those. Right, so Greenfly, do you want to start us off? Uh, hello, I'm Greenfly. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just draw hi. <laughs> just tell us about your artwork. Uh, pretty much. Um, I, I, pretty much I pretty much draw art. Uh, <laughs> and... Um... What about your big project you're working on? Oh yeah, <laughs> so pretty much um, the big project that I'm currently doing is I'm literally drawing uh, every character from season one to nine. I'm at 215 now, so don't know if that's going to be an advantage or I don't know. It might be, might not. <laughs> it looks amazing so far from what I've seen anyway, so I look forward to seeing more of that. Uh, should we go on to Reaper? Introduce yourself. Reaper! Where's your mic gone? <laughs> she is there, I promise she's there. Not here. There she is! <laughs> you went Hello. quiet. Introduce yourself, girl. Hello, I am a old Iron Gunner. Get rid of Team... <laughs> And it's very obnoxious. I'm an old school pony crony. I have been drawing ponies for a thousand years. I mainly do furry stuff these days and other fan art, but I'm going to try and remember what the heck a pony is this <laughs> in the stream. Awesome. I like your furry art as well. I'm glad I'm not the only furry artist about at the moment. <laughs> no, old school furry. Very much so. Right, Jowie, introduce yourself. Hello, yes, I still exist in the fandom somewhat, um, but uh, yes, I am Jerry Bean. A lot of people who probably know me back in the day, I used to do the title card series before I got bored of that, and I've sort of gone through what I would say a Frankenstein state with my art, uh, even within the fandom. But uh, nowadays, I do more stuff like this. This sort of is the sort of stuff I do, which is my slice of Equestria stuff. But yeah, basically, uh, outside of the pony stuff, I'm working on a comic with a friend. I'm do I do a lot of anime style of work. I'm well known for sort of mixing anime and western cartoons together those are my big influences uh but yeah without going into really a lot of detail uh yeah that's kind of me in a nutshell to the basic and also my new avatar kind of reflects my more interest in anthro characters as well actually interestingly enough but yeah that's me and hello <laughs> brilliant and finally shaz do you want to introduce yourself yeah hi i'm shazan i'm a, a vendor at the con today i've been Pony, member of the Pony fandom since, oh, I don't know, 2013, 2014. Um, I do a lot of Pony stuff, most of it a lot higher quality than these very fast sketches I'm doing here. Um, but yeah, come to DeviantArt and check out some of my work. Awesome. So here are your artists for today. You guys, most of you know me, it's Stormblaze. Um, I do draw as well, but for the sake of being able to host this stream, I'm literally just talking today. I will not be taking parts. I'm just organising the games. Right, so how this is going to work is... Uh, also, the audience can take part. If you guys have got pens and paper or tablets on hand, you can take part and show us um, your results in the chat, which will be really fun to see, actually. <laughs> Also, feel free to use the questions room to ask us anything, any of the artists about how they draw, um, favourite ponies, you know, any questions would be great. But bear in mind, they might not be too busy concentrating on doing their challenges, but I, I will fill in for them if, if they are too concentrating. <laughs> right, so the first 
Well, it's the main challenge today is going to be a memory test. <laughs> so no references allowed. Even the audience try and do it without a reference of these ponies. But you guys, I want you to start off drawing. Let's see, take from my list. Let's start by drawing Flash Sentry. Oh, I did that. The old yesterday. waifu stealer. <laughs> as a human or as a pony? Pony, ideally. Oh. Excellent. And he can I'm not very good at yeah. start. And that goes for the audience. If you guys want to join in, you're drawing Flash Sentry from memory. No references. Don't cheat. <laughs> Dang. Everybody's favourite stallion they like to hate. <laughs> I've just forgotten him already. Like, I drew him yesterday and I forgot. What he <laughs> <laughs> See, that would be uh, my problem as well. How long did you say we have? Oh, uh, I'm going to give you six minutes. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, right. Yeah, the wrong sketch I can possibly do. Okay. Right, we are counting down six minutes now. Oh, well, oh, I technically right. started oh. early. Oops, sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. I was a bit uh, slow on the on the countdown. I forgot I was doing that. <laughs> sorry, how long do we have? Six minutes. Because I want to get a couple of rounds in, but we've only got about 25 minutes or so to do these. I cannot for the life of me remember what he is, if he's an Earth <laughs> pony or Pegasus. I don't know if I should I'm give that hint. I don't know what he is. <laughs> now, I think I've got an idea of what he looks like. Flash Flash Magnus is the pillar, isn't he? Yes. Flash Sentry is Twilight's boyfriend. Yep. Or you yeah. know, the one that everyone yeah, doesn't... Magnus is is the pillar, who I've completely forgotten what he looks like as well. Uh but Flash, I I definitely have no idea what Flash looks like. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I actually kinda like Flash Sentry. He grew on me after the second film. Now, it's a bit of a sin, but I've still not watched Equestria Girls. Oh, he's in the canon show at least, though, so he does make an appearance a couple of times. So here's the problem, now I'm trying to remember the hair. I know the rest of them. Uh... Yeah, I think I might be getting confused with Soren, to be honest, but I'm still going with what <laughs> I think he looks like. I wouldn't mind seeing a couple of Sorens in this. <laughs> sure you wouldn't. <laughs> right, I'm just going to... Uh... That doesn't look like it. Yeah, and I did them yesterday. Ah. <sighs> dear, oh dear. See, I think I've forgotten about him because I literally drew T-Rex right after. So that's probably what it is going <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what T-Rex looks like more than... <laughs> right, and oh. hang on. I just need to make a little folder for these images. Panel pictures. Right, bear with me. I'm just, I'm just getting the results for at the end. There we go. Oh boy, what was the cute mark again? Uh, <laughs> I really think I'm doing a mishmash of like shining armor, uh, sword, <laughs> and a, like some sort of weird, uh, like Dragon Ball version of <laughs> version of the three of them. I am absolutely loving the expression on him, Jowie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it might be Flash Magnus that's influencing me, but I'm going with. I hope he's a Pegasus. <laughs> I, I genuinely am drawing oh, generic Lord. boy pony and hoping for the best. <laughs> I promise it won't all be stallions. <laughs> oh, I can't remember if he was an earth pony now. That's actually confusing me. Because I'm used to see him as so a far. human, not as a pony, so I can't remember what his pony form actually is. I know, well, if, you, exactly. if you think of human one, it's like, did he have wings? Did he have a horn? What? I know he had a guitar at one point. <laughs> I watched yeah, a question goes years ago. Pony. <laughs> I only mean, ever watched up to Rainbow Rocks, I'm afraid, and that was my. In my <laughs> opinion, that's the only one worth watching if you haven't seen all the others. Yeah, although funny enough, sometimes I will end up doing sunset and twilight pictures together. So that is one thing I do like doing sometimes when I feel like it or when I have the inspiration to. It's the one thing. Also, you guys like don't it. have to worry so much about colours as long as you've got something we can look at at the end. Is it yeah. weird how I remember the colours, but not the hair? Yes, the hair is... Because oh. <laughs> if I was taking part, I would just end up with sketches anyway, so that's, that's no preference on how you guys finish them. Yeah. Well, for me, I like to use a lot of colour with my digital art, so I like to sort of do this thing where I do it all in blobs of 
shapes and then try and build it from there sometimes <laughs> digital rather than do a sketch I kind of challenge myself uh in a way how are you guys doing in the audience <laughs> okay he's got that color and then he's oh two this. minutes that was actually a really long four minutes wasn't it this is, this is, oh, it's, it's, i know the color's <laughs> kind of close but it's not Exactly, which the part oh, I want to go for something a little bit more light. Yeah, I that. liked um, Legend of the Ever Free as well. That I was legitimately... one of the better ones. I legitimately think I might just be drawing Flash Magnus. <laughs> I, I can't. I don't know what he looks like either. <laughs> I don't. I don't actually know. About it. Oh, Flash Henry had the. I have a feeling Magnus looks a lot like Flash anyway, though, from memory. And it was just yeah. really cute, like, confusing when he first got revealed. Now I'm thinking of Flash Gordon. <laughs> I don't think I'm like, why am I thinking? I can never Flash Gordon, but not Flash Sentry. That, that is the first Flash that comes to my mind, to be honest, Green Flash, you know. Flash, Flash. Hello, no. Saviour of the universe. Yes. Uh, <laughs> These are looking great. I think I might be doing uh, Flash Century with a bad hair day, or he's just come out of the shower or something. Probably the same, going to be honest, in the same boat. Uh, <laughs> I am doing very rough sketch, very rough colour. I'm actually going to slightly cheat and try and lighten the colours a little bit if I can. Hey, power of digital work. <laughs> oh, I think it looks like that. Maybe. Oh, if I got the right colour ready, I'd ruin it. Then. Oh. Pone Seth asked can everyone see each other's screens and i don't think you guys can see each other can you no we're no. Oh, it's a mystery to be honest yeah well there is that <laughs> just giving him a little cheeky hey because that's what his expression's telling me and well, now they're all talking about question girls in the chat <laughs> But yeah, Rainbow Rocks considered god tier. And that's time! Uh, uh, right. That is time for the first round. Uh. Pens <laughs> down! <laughs> uh, it's... Can you show us a picture of what he actually looks like? I will put a picture of what he Please actually god. looks like. Please, <laughs> God. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I want to at least... Uh... Right, hang on, bear with me. I'm just going to make a new... I knew it was a Discord. Pegasus, but that was a bit... It was like, okay, what's the... Oh, oh so it was a Pegasus. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, so yeah, he was, it was a Pegasus. <laughs> no, it was a Pegasus. I can no. definitely okay, confirm that. Cool. Let me just grab him uh, for you. I think the problem as well is that when you see him in his pony form, you see him wearing armour, so I can't... So I was struggling to remember what he looks like without his armour on when you first see him. Yeah. Right, so Flash Sentry should be on the stream. He's a yellow and So, blue yeah, everybody Pegasus. looking at the stream should see him. Well, he's yellow, main, and then... Uh, oh, look, everybody in the chat. Well done, audience. Right, I'm just going to throw Flash Sentry in the uh, in our chat so you guys can see. Okay. Uh, so you don't oh, have to keep God. switching between <laughs> panels. Oh, and God, stuff. I love Crash Sentry. Right, there he is. In the oh, panel, oh, I was oh, oh, close. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I can do some weird fusion of story. Okay. I got the eye colour. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh, I really got confused. Wrong. Oh, his tail is not long. Oh, his tail is not. His tail is. I suppose because he's like supposed to be the the, the royal guard. Yeah, my my, my like, basically oh. fused with uh did a, a Vegeta and Goku thing and fused with Sora. <laughs> you, that's what happened to I my tail. You definitely went the one bolt but... on him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know I did. Whoops, where's my list gone? Right. Uh, how are we doing? For okay. Time? Good. Okay, so next round is gonna be. Do, 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 do. It's going to be cheerily. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of Flash. There we go. I'm technically cheating because I'm actually wearing a t-shirt over. <gasps> <laughs> Don't look down at yourself, Joey. <laughs> I can't. I'm wearing a hoodie I, anyway. I, oh, good. That's not good. I drew it like two months ago. No, I can't. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Right, and time starts now. We've got oh, six great. minutes again. I'm just going to get a picture of her. Here we go. Here we go. Um, that one. Funny enough, when I got into the fandom, I mistaken for Bon Bon when I was really early in the fandom, and I don't know why. 
I think it was probably because the t-shirt I have of her like called it Bum Bum, so I just thought as a, a new brony, oh, so she's called Bum Bum. Didn't realise. I just until... feel like cheerily. She had a huge kind of fan presence, and then it kind of ebbed by the end of it. Mm. Like, no one talks well, she... about or draws cheerily anymore. I, I guess because of the school, the she got replaced. As... <laughs> no, she didn't actually. She just kind of I... disappeared and was just in for like gags, as far as I could tell, or like teacher. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm just catching up on question chat, guys. If you want to put your uh, drawings in the main stage chat that we can just look at, um, yeah, because then I can I can comment on them for you guys and give you gold stars all round. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I kind of remember what she looks like, actually. Oh, crap, I forgot what her mane looked like. Oh, yes, please, Jez, if you could do that, that would be great. I think it was this colour. I think this bit was the bigger bit, this was the smaller bit, and then it kind of seems like... <laughs> oh, Archer yeah. says, Gen 3 or Gen 4, Cheerily? I have picked Gen 4, actually. <laughs> I forgot there were two. <laughs> yeah, that would be quite mean to troll you, saying, oh, I've got Cheerily, and you find out it's one of the older generations. <laughs> I, oh, great. I have no them. idea what that looks like. I'm just going to have a rough guess. Yeah, I forgot there's um, multiple versions of them in existence. <laughs> Oh my god, Jowie, she looks so happy, and Yeah, I'm trying to sort of think, whenever I sort of draw characters, I always try and think of the scene rather than just draw them as they are, if that makes sense. I try and think of, like, a scene, if it was from the show or in a comic or something, so I try and <laughs> visualise it that way when I'm sketching characters out. More ambitious than I'm being in six minutes. <laughs> I absolutely love the pose you've got going on there, Reaper. Thanks, I don't know what she looks like, so if I draw a good pose, it might be... <laughs> I know her colours. I can't picture her hair. I think it's very bubbly. Yeah, I will let you draw too, the though. 80s version if you want as well. It's it's not... even more complicated. I love her oh, 80s yeah. hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be impressed, but I don't know if you could do that in six minutes. Uh... No, it's G3 version. Ooh. Patrick Roberry says, best cheerily episode? Uh, for me, it's got to be the Big Mac one where they get hypnotised. <laughs> well, that's really one of the only ones where she has a starring role, isn't it? In a lot of the others, she just appears as a support to the CMC. <laughs> well, even when to she my does appear yeah. as support, she's like really quite passive aggressive and like, I don't want to teach these foals anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, my absolute favourite Cheryl moment was in the episode where Twilight's babysitting Flory Hart and... Um, Flory Hart rubs out Cheryl's calculations on the um, on the blackboard, and Cheryl is just like, "I'll write it again then with my mouth." <laughs> <laughs> oh, curse you, unicorns! <laughs> oh no, Cheryl, I just love that she's like such a moody teacher, <laughs> but she's got this really like happy. I'm going to be kind to everybody front, but it's it's just a front. I don't know if it's just me, but I felt like a lot of characters in Ponyville's the series went on kind of became very cynical i guess you'd say or at least became a bit more kind of jokey i don't know if it was just again just so in the passive of time and everyone just got used to the uh, things that happened in ponyville or if it was just a, i just think it reflection. shows that not everything in ponyville is all happy smiles and sunshine it's like these no, ponies have exactly. real problems too you know <laughs> which is why they were so relatable i think why they reached out they talked to so many people regardless of, <laughs> of the world that they have so many yeah Issues that we all can relate to to some degree. <laughs> Minus the magic thing. No, you got less than two minutes. Okay, no pressure then. I think <laughs> I remember what her. No, I think it was. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Celestia really should stop cutting funding for education. <laughs> <laughs> That's because it all got invested in Twilight School in the end. Mm. <laughs> Oh, and Flim and Flam school as well. Weren't they on the school board in the end? I can't remember. Did they? I can't remember. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I think I remember. Friendship <laughs> Friendship University. That's it. Oh, does that... Oh, that's an I idea. I don't know the colour of her mane. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to see people do, like, Friendship U varsity jackets in future. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, what was your eye colour? Cheerily, I forget. Even I don't know what her eye colour is, and I was just looking at the picture. Uh, I'm gonna go. I... Oh, 
I'd be completely wrong with this, but that's maybe good to say the yes. I feel like it might be green. It would complement her well. coat colour, I would I went with green. Green feels right. Uh, no. Would you have highlights? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, uh, good question. <laughs> I think it was set of highlights. I think I've got the colours right. Potentially. <laughs> to be honest, I think she's looking less G4 and more sort of maybe old school pony a little bit. The way I've been painting her. I don't know. I'm loving these so far. These cheerilies are great. Is it weird how I know the cutie part? It kind of looks like, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Again, I think I might have her confused that with one of the time. flower ponies. Time? That's time. Uh. That is time. Okay, audience, let's see what you got. You're going to post it in the chat again. I am I... going to post it in the chat again. Let me just get you really. It'll be really hilarious if you, if you get the exact reference that's on my t-shirt as well. The exact pose <laughs> I've got. I will be very right. surprised. Chirily is now on the screen for the audience to see. And she is now in the chat for you guys to see. Oh! oh, oh kind of! Oh. Uh, it was pale. At least, the, well, yeah. Her pale. mane is a lot more pale than I thought it was. Yeah, I, it is. I might, yeah. Okay, so there was highlights, and I, I think we did. Think the I just didn't know what the colour was in the main. That I was... think I was getting confused with Bum Bum again. <laughs> I think you were going more for like sea swell, actually. <laughs> Especially the colours. Or oh, no, sorry, Berry Punch is who I was thinking of. It's Berry Punch, yeah. isn't it? Oh my goodness, it is. Oh my goodness, yeah. I, drew yeah. Berry Punch. I drew Berry Punch cosplaying as a Cheery Lee for school. <laughs> That's an interesting episode right there. Oh, I love oh. Shaz's. It's, it's like reverse colours, though, I think. If you swap the colours, you'd be much closer. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys got the hairstyle right. And the kind of pink shades. I'm just Let's pleased I remember the cutie mark for once. I wouldn't have remembered the QC mark. Uh, I couldn't remember what expression the flowers held. I, I wasn't sure if they were like... <laughs> they were uh, happy, was... they were happy faces. Yeah, like, I almost did smoke face so... on mine, but then I was like, I don't think they're smoke. Yeah. I'm just looking at the audience ones. They are looking great. Everybody got the same kind of colour scheme, definitely, as well. Right, uh, so that's cheerily. We're going to do one more before we do Britannia, I think. Oh, good. Right. Right, one more. Where's my list? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do... <coughs> Sorry, Denz is here now as well, if you hear noise in the background. Let us do... <laughs> Maybe that's a bit too easy. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, do you know it might be a slightly easy one, but she is on my list. Let's do Tempest. Okay. okay. Tempest Shadow okay. from the movie, and you've got six minutes. Go. Okay, cool. Okay, and brush needs to I get off me now. The screen. Tempest Shadow. This is one I would be very, very happy to draw. <laughs> I did draw her very recently, so I should remember what she looks like. I drew her last month. <laughs> and I... I drew her this week as well, but it was black and white drawing. Yeah, that's the uh, edge pwn to everybody else. <laughs> so she's that edgy. I love her tempers. I thought I was going to hate her because she was like all the properties of like the typical bad OC design. <laughs> Back when I, she think the came scar, out. I think the scar didn't help when it came out and the armor and stuff, but uh, she wasn't red and black. So. No, at least she was like that nice kind of plum purple size. Oh, I've lost the picture. Come back. There we go. Get that set up for when we do the reveal. There we go. She is a triangle. <laughs> well, I think you guys definitely have an idea what Tempest looks like. Maybe it was too easy. <laughs> Yeah, the question is, what was her eye colour? Because I can't remember. So ah. there, screw there. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, I watched the song just the other day, so this I do know. <laughs> also, I think I'm going to go for a slight anime expression with her. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> I just saw it. 
Oh, they're all looking amazing. I, I'm a big Tempest fan myself, so I'm happy to see you guys do these. Oh, Shaz, that pose. Holy crap, I love that. Oh, give me Edge Horse, all of you. <laughs> I'm loving this. JD, don't give hints. It's supposed to be doing this without references. No reference. No hints on colours. <laughs> question in the questions chat. The best song from the movie. Or technically your favourite song from the movie. I really like We Got This Together. That's definitely grown on me, that one. I keep singing it. <laughs> Oh, have I forgotten what her armor looks like? Uh... <laughs> I can't wait to see what the audience do with Tempest. <clears throat> Is that a timestamp? No, we were right still. Jez, can you just remind me what the time is? I just want to double check how much time we got left. Because we might be able to get one round in before Britannia actually looking at the time. Let's see if I've uh, timed this properly, but we'll see. <laughs> I love that you guys in, in the audience are enjoying this as well. Like I said, this is a whole new format for us. And I think it's working really well. <laughs> I mean, if I was drawing, there would be five people and it'd probably just get a bit complicated at the moment, but... Oh, wait, which side of the scar was her eye on? I Ooh, always forget that. Yes, I will, I will definitely uh, <laughs> criticise you for which scar the side, side the scar is on. <laughs> She's just look got a little Disney. One. I think I'm making Wait, a look. He's got more. a scar. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep yeah, forgetting to add it as well. To be honest. Well, I'm just gonna do some other things to make it at least kind of good. I guess. <laughs> I think I've made mine look very Disney villain. Almost 90s Disney villain. Good. <laughs> I think she was supposed to be. Certainly more so than the Storm King. Sco Storm King was kind of rubbish, in my opinion. I just didn't like him. I yeah. think, like, I have a headcanon that the Storm King was just Discord in disguise, you know? Because Discord didn't appear in that whole film, and he seemed so like knockoff Discord. That's true. Interesting I can theory. see that. Mm, yeah. And Discord kind of does that, you know, with uh, with Grogar. It just seems like a better explanation. I just kind of wish they went and did um, what was in the art book, which was have the Storm King had a final form which was this like massive thunder beast wolf type thing. Oh, and that he does and Tempest and, and Twilight have a big showdown. That would have been amazing. <laughs> yeah. But I guess it, it just cost too much to do that scene. They just scrapped it. But they have all the designs that are in the movie art book. He, he looks so cool. I'll have to have a go at drawing him at some point. <laughs> oh, I'm going to. I don't know. I can't remember what your icon looks like, so I'm going to use. <laughs> oh, Greenfly is adding the uh, the sparky effect from her horn. Yeah. <laughs> oh that yeah. That's cool. cool. Uh, let's see. Let's try and do something a little bit more. Oh, if I can get it. Yeah, okay. Audience says, general consensus says, um, we've got this uh, together as the best song. And that is time! There's my alarm again. Ah. That is time. Right. Uh. <laughs> I'll accept that as the colour scheme, Greenfly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see any of this, so... <laughs> he's, he's just filled the background in purple. <laughs> right, nice. so... For the audience, let me see as well. Show me your drawings. Because here is Tempest. And for the artists. 
There is Tempest. You all pretty much got a spot on. Yeah. Oh, I can, I kind of got the armor right for the most part. It's just. <laughs> Ah, Makes a little bit yeah, smooth. Oh, I forgot the, oh. the tempest the in the audience. A little bit more thing, me. Yeah. Oh, her eyes are green. Of course they are. <laughs> no, I thought her eyes were blue. They're greeny, teal oh, kind green. of blue, but they're, yeah, they're teal. kind of like frosted yeah. over a bit as well. Mm. Oh, but and you I guys forgot pretty about much the nailed gold. the color oh, scheme. Okay. You, I think you got her uh, base colors perfect, actually. Yeah. That I think the main awesome. was a little bit too dull, but yeah. Right, so what time are we on now? Half past. Let's say I'll give you 15 minutes to do your Britannia drawings. Okay, I've got an idea. Let's see if I can... I think that will take us to the end of the stream as well. That goes for right. you guys in the audience. You guys are free to draw Britannia and it's with references too. There's no memory game here. I just wanted my artist to all draw the mascot by the end. <laughs> Because that's why we're all here. <laughs> but yeah, okay, everybody else is like, yeah, we recently drew Tempest as well. <laughs> Maybe that was too easy. <laughs> that's all right, I'll think up some harder games for tomorrow. But yeah, everybody is now drawing the mascot and you've got 15 minutes um, you can either draw her just generic, or you can draw her to the theme, or you can draw some kind of in-joke, like the bread, for example. <laughs> or if you want to add some more ponies in, if you've got time as well, you, you can do that. But I just thought, since the audience is enjoying the new format, it would be just nice to see how everybody draws in general, without such a without such a time crunch over the top. <laughs> you guys did amazing within the six minutes anyway. Oh no, bread. There's bread in the chat. I've started something. No! I'm what drowning in bread. <laughs> uh, so how are you guys enjoying the con? Just everybody in the audience. Apart from bread. Enough with the bread. <laughs> Let there be a break in bread. <laughs> oh, I must say that everybody in... Every, all the artists in the stream are also in the vendor hall, except for Jowie. Yeah, <laughs> but Jowie does do commissions as well and has his own store. Which you can all visit after the con hours are up. Yeah. And, uh, he was going to be in vendors this time. Did apply. <laughs> but if you're a regular UK pony con goer anyway, you would have possibly seen him or very likely bought from him and, and spoken to him because he's always at the con and he does amazing artwork. Mm. And hopefully uh, next time I do, just as a little bit of a tease, that I'll have some more original stuff because I'm doing, as I said earlier in the stream, a comic with a friend of mine. So if anyone is interested who's been coming, you'll get to see something a bit more original, hopefully, uh, this time. Because uh, I'm still going to be in the fandom, uh, besides my joke earlier, but I am mm -hmm. doing a lot more like original stuff nowadays. Uh, but I'm trying to balance out the two, to be honest, because Pony's never going to leave my life, no matter how old I get. Nice. I mean, at this point, any time I draw a pony, it's always going to probably look like Twilight Sparkle or anything from <laughs> G4 at this point. So I think I'm now bound for the rest of my life to draw like that, no matter how much I'll try and get away from it. <laughs> That's kind of how I, I I'm it. doing with my art as well. I've definitely branched off for the pony stuff, um, doing more generic stuff. I've learned how to draw humans this year. <laughs> Woo! Go you! <laughs> Which is really difficult. <laughs> So that's a big kind of milestone in, in my art life. Yeah. So that's, that's where I've been most of this year. I haven't drawn that much pony stuff in general this year. I think this week has been the most pony I've drawn at one time. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't see that, that I haven't not done that. <laughs> no, you've uh, still got loads to go yet, Green Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, pretty much, um, if I'm to be honest, I haven't done uh, any kind of new like MLP stuff for a while the only thing i've been doing has been literally the big big thing that i've been just doing in general um 
if it hasn't been it's pretty much i've been at least trying to do other things and stuff that i can expand like even the things that i do even my channel like i'll take a character and maybe twist it in some kind of way so it's not it looks still like the original character but it's in its own kind of twist kind of way so it kind of challenges challenges me a little bit and it kind of keeps things a little bit fresh in a way so yeah and you're doing really well as well because you did that one with all the ocs last year was it the year before uh no i finished it last year it was so. last year. <laughs> and, and there i decided hey let's go bigger I went, oh fantastic um, <laughs> the good thing is i have a better structure this year so i've done over 200 within less than three months so that's that's pretty good my <laughs> so mm. so i think i've got the structure a bit better down this time so the only thing is been a pain is the research that's oh boy I can imagine. Mm. I, I still can't get over how massive the file size for your drawing is so far when you showed us the other day. Oh, yeah. Two yeah, in the stream as well. I'm surprised yeah, stream. That was the guy on that. <laughs> your computer is an absolute monster. <laughs> it had to be. The last one died because of it. So I've killed one. I might kill the other one. <laughs> Although, fun fact for me, guys, is that whenever I... If you ever like, ever see me stream, which I don't know if I will do in the future, but sometimes you'll see that I'll have uh, files that go into, like... Uh, layers that go into, like, 500 or 400 with some of my stuff. Because basically what I do is that I end up... Uh, uh, having tons of ideas and i'll go through like a session kind of like what i'm doing now where i'll sketch idea after idea uh, and then i'll have like five or ten <laughs> quick sketches of i was doing it last night and i went for, and i had about five new layers so i kind of almost use it as a virtual sketchbook photoshop <laughs> just fine just make it finished art so right, yeah, you guys I... have got nine minutes i've just been reminded by jez that we've got less than 10 minutes till we end the stream as well so that works out perfectly all right also, there's a little message for Jowie in the chat. It says, Jowie, we miss seeing you from Emily and Dusk. Oh, well, hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you there. <laughs> oh, but I'm, I'm loving these poses, guys. Yeah, I'm going to try and do a background in the back of mine, because that's what I try and do nowadays, is always try and add uh, some context, because I love me, I love ponies and I love architecture and just environments. And if people know in the past, sometimes I've spent more time on the background than the character itself. <laughs> Which Reaper, had to is that a breezy? Right. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of the old PonyCon mascots. Ah, oh, okay. I thought they could be friends. <laughs> you don't see people drawing breezy so much. That's a nice little add-on, though. I should mention I've done it a lot. There's a lot of hidden characters in the piece that I've done, so you will see. Pre when I say it, there's everyone, everyone from big or small, they will be. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I am trying to keep most of the bigger characters till last. I would probably see. So. Oh good lord! I've just looked in the chat because I was on the questions chat, and it's literally just the bread Tanya. Over. Is that over everyone? Goes, is that what everyone is chill. drawing? <laughs> <laughs> it probably doesn't help what I've drawn. To be fair, so. Oh my god, Jowie, can you give her like a little <laughs> basket of bread? <laughs> sure, why not? If I get Do that. <laughs> just, just so I can join in the meme, even though I'm entirely ruin the image, but it's fine. Because <laughs> she looks like she's out in the cafe at the moment, and it's really cute. Yeah, it's actually an idea I've, I've had for a while, so I might try and turn it into an actual finished piece later. But I've wanted to do kind of some sort of slice of a question thing with Britannia. After I've sort of going down that that route, one of the reasons why I, I I'm so busy and why I take a long time to get pieces out nowadays because I try and try to come up with like really interesting scenarios to kind of show the world through how I kind of see it and kind of build on the stories that the uh, the show left behind, mm. or at least build under. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always jealous of your background detail. I have got to learn how to do that. Well, one <laughs> you make one it way so I. Easy. <laughs> Yeah. Well, one way I would say, and this may not be the most helpful thing, but I say that, as you probably have noticed during the stream, I've not done any, like, base sketch, which I usually do when people probably see me at conventions. I always do a base sketch when doing canvases. But when I'm doing digital, I, I basically break it down almost to abstract shapes. Same with buildings. So if you do sort of weird things like this or zigzags or just... It, you can make very dynamic, interesting cityscapes that way. I also take a lot of influence from sort of, like, places in the UK, particularly with the architecture, European architecture, American mm. Art Deco architecture. The Japanese architecture. I try and blend a lot of different ideas together. Um, so, 
<laughs> Don't take Gosh, a very the abstract bread is comment. still going. <laughs> My Britannia is saying bread. With uh, She's holding bread and she's got a bread basket. Okay, people are going to hate me for this, but I'm doing this in the background. <laughs> I love that you guys have like... You've gone half and half. Some of you doing Brit uh, Britannia as she is. And some of you doing Bat-Tanya. So that's fantastic to see. <laughs> you guys all know the bread puns have arrived. <laughs> no. Not the puns. That's worse than bread Britannia. <laughs> Oh, Shaz, your bat pony looks amazing. I love the way you draw yeah. bat wings. I've never tried doing Batania before, so I thought I'd try <laughs> it out. The wings look stunning, though. I, I always appreciate a good bat wing. <laughs> oh, wow. These are look so good. I'm kind of annoyed that I can't join in doing this right now. Uh, you guys got less than five minutes, though. Just put the okay, countdown theme up at any point. I have already. I did bat Britannia, who's going to be in the auction very soon, actually. I should really uh, send that to the staff <laughs> before I go and have lunch. You guys are doing great. Um, thank you for joining the panel, though, and taking part in it. Problem? <laughs> no, no problem. I was really worried you guys would be like, oh, I can't too busy or, or too nervous but you've I'm done taking, really really well to draw ponies again. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a nice change from what i'm doing at the moment with being with other stuff outside of ponies so this does probably inspire me to work on some stuff that i probably should finish off at this point because i put pieces <laughs> out about it so uh and i might try and turn this into something minus the bread the bread's just here for the stream <laughs> <laughs> yeah just for you guys I, it's not going to be in the final image if this has become something <laughs> Yeah, I've always loved the whole format of just having multiple artists drawing at the same time, just banter over the top of it as well. I've always wanted to do that as a YouTube channel. but So this will be like my practice towards it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this works much better than what I initially planned to do, so I'll be revisiting this format. And the audience are certainly enjoying watching everybody draw. Just seeing the different styles, seeing how how oh, you guys draw. Oh, let's just do the moon. Let's just do the stars. <laughs> oh, I'm just draw the universe, why don't you? I I, I mean, as well at this point, I've got so much free time. Uh... <laughs> the thing is, I haven't been able to see what you guys have been doing, so I've just been in the dark, just watching my own stream because unfortunately I don't know how to switch it over. So uh, I, I am just as in the dark as everybody else is in terms of. And I have been absolutely loving the audience's participation in this as well. Your drawings are looking so good, guys. And we're into the last few minutes now. Less than three minutes, officially. Should be hearing the countdown theme anytime soon. <laughs> I should have done that. I'm looking to doing that for tomorrow. <laughs> 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 If you could find a pony version, just that'd be absolutely. If there was some some way to pony version, I of that. could possibly record one where it sounds like vinyl scratch or something doing it. I suppose, couldn't I? That would definitely be interesting to say. <laughs> Should have an official just UK PonyCon like countdown timer for challenges and things like this. Just look into doing that. <laughs> There's an idea. I still don't know how even uh, Earth ponies even hold mugs in this universe, but I don't question it. It's the uh, one thing I, I do with it them. Either, I just Thank draw you, it. <laughs> I've seen some very complex explanations around like flexible frogs. People like really try and explain how it could work. Oh yeah, well, I've I've seen the other one is the old suction frogs, as the suction hooves as well. Yeah. <laughs> so you just draw it like that. Oh, it's fine. It's ponies. Doesn't yeah. have to make sense. Well, it's also a meme that they have. I think it's also because it's a meme. I think of like a Powerpuff Girl. I think it's Bubbles, and then they like zoom in on the hand. You see, she's got tiny little hands. <laughs> so, but you got tiny little who's? Who knows? Maybe it's like that. Oh, quick question again. Favorite type of bread? <laughs> um, brown bread. <laughs> brown bread. Uh, does anything that's bready count? Because I would put crumpets and bagels down as mine, as opposed to actual bread bread. I really I mean, like they're the bread aisles, so they are. I guess they are technically bread, <laughs> but it's definitely crumpets and bagels for me. 
Although nothing can beat a nice white bap either, actually. <laughs> Just talk about bread. I'm getting really hungry now because I haven't had lunch yet. And now we're talking about food. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to call the time, guys, because we need... Uh. Because uh, it's right. 30 seconds for timer, but we need just a little session just to sign off, I think. You okay. guys have done really, really well. <laughs> thank you for joining the oh. panel. <laughs> and thank you to the audience. Um, like I said, we've got Greenfly, we've got Jowie Bean, hey. Reaper Fox, hey. and Shazlan. And three of them are in the vendor hall, including myself. <laughs> So definitely go see them. Go look at go look at their store and everything. Commission them if they're open. Go commission Jowie after the cons are finished as well because he's great. <laughs> um, and thank you all for watching. We will be doing this again tomorrow. Um, and I can't remember what time. I think it's like half three in the afternoon. Uh, where we will have Greenfly and Jowie will return. But we'll have some new artists taking part with different challenges. So... Thank you so much for that. And I think that might be time. I might have timed that right. 